How are we guys? So today I'm going to document what we're going to do is I've got this beautiful nice tray here. Got it out of the reef spearing the other day so I've had it in the freezer for a few days and what I'm going to do I'm going to get it out today start thawing it out and I'm going to try do a bit of taxidermy on it. I'm going to try to get all the meat and everything out of it and yeah Try me luck, I've never done it before. Got a few mates that have, so they've given me a few tips and tricks. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, oh guys, so here's that crayfish we got out of the freezer earlier. You can see it's all defrosted. Still got all the colours and everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, take the tail off, remove the head and the carapace and we'll start taking the meat out so we'll go from there and we'll see how it goes just get your knife up underneath the head just take it around up underneath That's that. So what we'll do is we'll start loosening all our meat up in here and we'll start taking the meat out and then we'll start getting the meat and everything out of the head. Um, we'll take the top of the head off and we'll go from there. For this I just went down to the local um, sewing stool and I've grabbed a little latch hook and a little sewing needle. So we use that to get in all the legs and everything, then we'll use compressed air to get it all out. So as you can see, good amount of meat that we've gotten out of the tail. We're clean. Later on I'll show you what we're gonna do with the tail. So for now We'll just put that away somewhere that's not going to heat up out of the sun so it doesn't lose its colour. So we'll just wrap it up and I'll put that in the fridge and we'll leave that sit there until we're ready to use it again. So and now we'll start doing the head. Now what we're going to do is separate the head from the underbody. Just take a little knife, run it up underneath here. separated that and that all we'll do is we'll clean out all the head and then we'll start taking the meat out of the body you can see there's still nice big piece of meat all in the head and then we'll start on all the legs 
take all the all this stuff off. We don't need any of this. Right, oh guys. So this is essentially what we're left with. We got the head, all nice and clean. Tail and the body. So what I actually done was I just nicked all the ends and I got compressed air and I just shot air through and blew all the meat out. It's taken probably about I don't know two hours to get all the meat and that out. So and I've actually quickly just put a clear coat on here and then I'm going to sit it in the tree to get some green ants to eat that last little bit of meat out of the head. You can actually see the green ants in there already so I'll put that back out there and I'll leave it for a few hours and then tomorrow we'll start putting it together. It's been a bit of a mission but we've got there all the meat and that out of the tail, all the meat and that out of the legs and then just setting it up on this bit of styrofoam how it's going to sit and I've just given it a hit with a clear coat lacquer just to stop the colour from fading so it's looking alright put the head out in the tree there and wait for the ants to eat the bit of the meat out of the head and then we foam a fillet um, hit it with some soup glue on all the joints stop all the joints from falling to pieces and yeah we go from there so the ants are done most of their job you see it's nearly all out of there all the tail and everything's pretty much empty so from here what I'm going to do is get some foam fill, fill the head, fill the tail, um, fill all in the body and then we'll go through with a bit of super glue and start super gluing all the joints. So see how we go. So, she's all foam filled up. Once it all dries, we'll start um, cutting all the excess off. We'll cut all the excess off there so you can't see anything, shape it all. And then we'll start putting it all back together. But um, it's looking all right. It's not looking bad at all. Still got most of the colour there, which is good. So, happy days. Yeah, so now all I'm doing is just um, cutting all the excess foam out. It's held its colour nice. I'm really happy with it. Tail's all nice and fanned out. Um, yeah, I'll cut it all out of there. Cut it out of the body. And then we can start putting it all back together. Start gluing it up. And I'll show you the bit of timber that I'm going to mount it on. It's a really nice bit of timber also, so... Yeah, it's coming along good. I'm really happy with it. So, all the tail and everything's put back on. I've just filled that and joined the two together, as you can see. Um, that's just 
bon, bon creep you can get from any hardware store and now all I'm doing is just getting a little bit of glue and then I'm just going over all the joints putting a little bit of super glue on all the joints just to stop them from moving but like I said it's stuck there pretty hard the clear coat enamel sort of puts it in place as well so it's coming together we'll see how it is surely